This is 90.3 KEXP here in Seattle and worldwide at KEXP.org. I'm Stevie Zoom, and uh, we are happy to have with us churches who are going to be playing tonight at the Capitol Hill Block Party on the main stage at 945. From right to left, we've got Lauren, Ian, and Martin. Thank you. Thanks for being here this afternoon. Yeah, thank you for having us. This is very fancy. All right. Yeah, this is the new home. Mm -hmm. So welcome to the new home. We've got uh, an audience behind us here. It's all nice and bright outside and nice and dark on the inside, and everybody's here to That's listen to like you guys. Much like us. Yeah. <laughs> you guys ready for a couple of songs? Yeah. Sure. Let's, let's have at it. Ninety point three KEXP. You're listening to live music from churches and the uh, latest album performing songs from Every Open Eye. And they're playing tonight at the Capitol Hill Block Party and getting things all ready there for another song. Yeah, you good? I think so. Well, like I didn't have to change anything. I'm like, I, yeah, I think so. Um, today is our last, it's our last summer U.S. festival, so we're all quite excited. And uh, I didn't. <laughs> I only have my sandals with me because we were having like two weeks off after this. So I feel like I'm like party from the knees down, business from the knees up. <laughs> so I'll hide behind the table so people think we're professional. Yeah, we good. Yeah.
I'm as sane as I ever was Live music from churches here at 90.3 KEXP. We're streaming live video as well, and they're playing tonight, the Capitol Hill Block Party, 945. And as Lauren said, they're kind of closing out the U.S. Uh, tour festivals. What kind of plans do you have uh, after you uh, leave us? Big fat nap, I think. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no, we've been doing festivals for most of the summer so far. And then right. we've got a couple of weeks off, and then we start doing that again in Europe. So... I think we're all going to go to our respective homes and sit about. All right. <laughs> they just played a couple of songs from Every Open Eye, the uh, album that came out this last fall. Uh, prior to that, a couple of years ago, was the uh, first release. And then at that point, uh, so much attention was uh, uh, with you with the uh, great songs on the first album. When you go to, you're finished with the first album and you're done touring and things and you're getting ready to write the songs for this new album, does it play on you that you now know that, a lot of people kind of following us now and know who we are. Um, <laughs> you know, loads of people will probably lie and say that, no, 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 no that never factored. No, we, we weren't bothered. We don't care, blah, blah, blah. That's just not true. It does a little bit. You can't, you, it does, you know, we, we made that first record in a total bubble, in a vacuum. No one had any idea who we are or what we were doing. And um, there was definitely an element of, of pressure, which has been, a, you know, a popular word. When, it kind of went, when talking about our our second album, but the key to it was not letting to it, not letting that stuff infect the what was going on in the studio, and I don't think it ever did. When we were going home at night, sure that's something different, but as long as it's not interrupting the creative process, then that's what matters, you know. Yeah, you probably just cut, looked after the first album, looked at the strengths of what you had from the first record and the things you like doing, and just kind of. You know, the creative writing from just kind of takes takes over from there. Mm. I think so, yeah. We didn't really want to go in and make a second record that didn't feel connected to the first one. We wanted it to kind of feel like an evolution. So um, I think we achieved that. Yeah. I hope so. I think we were having fun in the studio as well, which was a, it, it is a really important thing when you're making music. You know, when that kind of first burst of creativity is what we we feed off most out of anything else, you know. And being on tour was incredible and making the a success of that first album the way we did was way beyond any of our imagination or what our wildest dreams even but we're happiest in the studio you know we're happiest making records and it was nice to get back to that 
yeah. to prove to ourselves that we could still do it, actually. When you said you're having fun and you can keep having fun, the creative process just can uh, continue to keep things going. So um, uh, after it's been, I mentioned the uh, record came out last fall. So from then until now, do you kind of uh, self-critique some of the things that you went over in the studio for that record? Um, I don't think so. No, I think perfect, we were... right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I haven't listened to it. The only what time do you mean? Have, the only time we ever actually listen to our own records is at in-store signings. <laughs> and then it goes round and round and round and round. <laughs> Just, but, uh, usually you're like, oh, this is pretty good. <laughs> I think we're really proud of what we made and adding the live dimension to it and playing as many shows as we have after that, I think, is just kind of giving it an extra lease of life. And I think this time around we knew more what we wanted the band to be in a live format. So then going in to make the record, it just felt that we had a better sense of what the band was, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And, and and the same with for, from album one to two and now from two to three, you know, once we have taken a rest, all of that learning that we've done from touring this record will we'll bring to the the third, you know, not as regrets on the second album, because that will always be that snapshot in our time. Mm. And the third album will be the next snapshot, snapshot, snapshot. of where we're at, snapshot. Snapshot, 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 snapshot. So there are the beginnings of a, a, a there's are the beginnings of a, a third uh, album. Well, it's on our minds. I think, I think the, um, there's a large part of the creative process that happens in preparation for writing. You know, yeah. it's like getting inspired, absorbing a bunch of stuff, you know, old and new, and um, playing around with ideas and demos and stuff like that. But the, the process doesn't begin properly until we're all kind of in the same place and ready to go. You know, that's when it really, uh, the momentum really starts to, starts to get going. Every Open Eye is the uh, title on the recent second album from Churches. They're playing tonight at the Capitol Hill Block Party, 9.45. You guys ready to continue? Sure. Let's yes, please. Oh, yeah. I feel it. <laughs> I think everybody thinks that being in a band's really rock and roll, but it's just a lot of tea, from what I can tell. <laughs> a lot of vans and drinking tea.
You're listening to live music from churches here at 90.3 KEXP. That was the song Afterglow from Every Open Eye, and that sounded really, really nice. Thank you. It's all the tea. No. <laughs> I think you've got one more, according to my list here, from the previous record. Yeah, we've yes. got uh, people on the, at home can't see this, but we've got a bunch of keyboards all spread out all over the table here. It takes a little bit of. Jiggery pokery. Does that translate over it. here? Is that yeah, a Scottish thing? This is creepy that these people are filming us with nowhere for it to go. <laughs> yeah. It's very. Heart's kind of a bad okay. slasher movie. Yeah, we're ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a song called The Mother We Share. Never took your sign. Never cursed your name. I keep my lips shut tight Until you go oh, 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 oh. We've come as far As we're ever gonna get Until you realize That you should go Live music from churches here on 90.3 KEXP. Thank you for being here this afternoon. Tonight at the Capitol Hill Block Party, they will be performing at 945. Thank Th you so much for having us. Martin, Ian, and Lauren, thanks again for being here. A big thank you to our audience who's uh, behind me here. Hello, silent Hi, audience. <laughs> and we can't our, hear you, but we can see you. And yeah. uh, thank you to our engineers, uh, Jackson and Julian. Going to send it back to Evie here at 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.